So it's Friday, I'm feeling kind of sick, but uh, we have this beautiful day plan. We're gonna, we're gonna go try some of Montreal's finest bagels. One thing you need for a bagel, for a bagel tasting day, it's essential, it's the bagel dunks. Let's go get the bagel dunks. Now we're good to go. Okay, so stop number one. We are here at Saint-Viator Bagel, located on Saint-Viator Street in the Myland, a borough of the Plateau. Um, so this place has been open since 1957. Actually, the owner came from Poland. He was uh, a Holocaust survivor and uh, he was dreaming about bread and he came here, opened up the spot. It's been a family-run business since then. They now have uh, two bagel cafes, they have two bakeries, they have one online store. So definitely a staple in Montreal. If you want good bagels, it's where it's at. And uh, yeah, let's go inside and try some bagels. So right away, when you walk in, you get this crazy smell of dough baking, some sesame, some honey. The smell is just magic. So let's go get some bagels. Get some cream cheese. So we're gonna try the bagels uh, as is, but also, you know, cream cheese. I always go with the Philly, because you know, Philly's a shit. So we're gonna try some plain bagels and some cream cheese, some butter, all that stuff. So you always always get the sesame bagel when you're here. Not the blueberry, I mean, they're all good, but sesame is the way to go. Hi. Can I get a half a dozen of sesame bagels, please? Mm -hmm. And the cream cheese. Good thing to know, they only take cash, so make sure you bring those dollar bills. Please. There you go. Thanks. Nice and warm. Beauty. Voilà. Merci. So you can see that's uh, the tasting station here because, uh, you know, there's a bunch of sesame seeds. So the ultimate test, you got to try the bagel as is. Mmm. So right away, mmm. You can see the outside is crispy. Inside is very soft. You can taste the honey. So what they do is they, they boil the bagels in water and honey, and then they put those bagels on a long wood panel and they bake those in uh, the beautiful firewood oven that we saw over there. And that's why you get this very nice soft middle and a nice crispy outside. But uh, there's this big war between Montreal bagels and New York bagels. Um, Montreal bagels are always, you know, uh, crispy, smaller, whereas the New York bagels are always more on the doughy side. Looks like more like a like a bread shaped bagel. Um, so that's a big difference. Also, these are baked in a wood oven. Um, and uh, besides the war between New York and Montreal, there's even the war between Montreal's best bagels, which we you know we have Saint Viator here, and our next location is Fremont Bagels. So the goal here is to figure out whose bagel ranks supreme. Is it Fairmont, St. Viatar? We're about to find out, but these are goddamn good. Mm. All right, next spot, we're heading to Fairmont Bagel, which is, uh, what, two minutes from here? Yeah, it's pretty close. Should we walk there or take the car? Take the car. Yeah. I'm a lazy piece of shit, so let's go. And it's cold. So we're heading now to uh, Fremont Bagel, over there. It looks, uh, it looks a bit busier in Saint Viator. I'm quite surprised, I thought Saint Viator was like busier, but uh, seems like we have some sort of lineup situation. We'll navigate through it. All right, so we just got at spot number two, Fremont Bagels. Uh, so this place is even older than the Saint Viator Bagels. It's been open since 1919, the owner actually came from Russia and opened up this place. 
The original Fairmont Bagel was actually called Montreal Bagel Bakery and was on St. Laurent Street on the main. And uh, when they moved their location to here on Fairmont Street, it became what we know as Fairmont Bagels. And it looks like it's kind of busy inside right now. So we're probably just gonna go in, get some bagels and come back and taste outside. So I'll be right back. All right, let's get some bagels. So uh, price-wise, I think it's pretty much the same price, six something for half a dozen bagels. Now, some major points for Fairmont, right off the bat, these are... These are warm as shit. Like, you can just feel that, feel that. Right? Fuck. Okay, so to be super honest, I was kind of rooting for... Uh, for Saint Viatar bagels, but now these are something else. Like they're like they feel like nice and soft. Maybe the one we had at Saint Viatar were you know were like in the in the bin for a long time. These are very fresh, still smoking. Oh my God! You see those? Yeah. I mean, maybe we're just not lucky with the bagels at Saint Viatar, but these are smoking hot. They feel fresher, crispier. I don't know why I was rooting for Saint Viatar. These are way better, actually. I could 100% do a blind test now. I could tell these are the, the Fairmont bagels. I guess the ultimate test now is gonna be a blind tasting. Let's go home, try both bagels, you know? We'll just do a non-biased tasting, a blind taste. Find out which bagels rank supreme in Montreal. Saint-Viatar, Fairmont, let's find out, let's go home. All right, so we're back home. We have bagels from Seviatar, from Fairmont. It's fucking tasting time, let's go. So before we get to tasting, we'll do a little visual comparison of both bagels. So the Seviatar is a bit uh, thicker, a bit bigger. Uh, this one is definitely a bit darker also. So I guess this one is crispier on the outside than this one. So now that, now that both bagels have been resting for a while, it's gonna give us a better idea of like, you know, which one is better. Um, uh, after a couple hours of you know being out of the oven, so um, yeah, let's uh, let's get set up for a blind tasting. Do the ultimate test, see what's what, and we'll do like the plain sesame bagel. We'll try with butter. We'll try with cream cheese, and uh, we'll finally know. We'll finally know which bagel ranks supreme in Montreal. Saint Viatar, Fairmont. We're about to find out. Let's go. So lucky enough for good timing, I just got this beautiful bread knife from. Uh, CLK, my official knife provider, and it's an absolute beauty. And if you can see in the camera here, there's like metal shavings in the, in the handle, which is fucking cool, I think. So let's see if it's as sharp as it looks it is. So we have our bagels here from Saint-Viatar. We have our bagels here for Fairmont. So the classic cream cheese. It's not a sponsored video, but I really like the Philly. It's uh, you know been a, the one I've been eating for for my whole life. So we'll just do cream cheese here. Okay, so this one can be just butter. So butter spread here. All right, so. Uh, what we're gonna do is, you know, we have all our bagels set up here, cream cheese, butter, plain. These are Saint Viatar, these are Fairmont. What I'll do is use my beanie as um, a blinder. And then uh, my um, beautiful filmer here, Gage, will hand me some bagels and I can't see shit. Can't see shit. So uh, we'll probably try with uh, try the cream cheese first, then make our way down to the butter and then the plain. So, Gage, please. Okay, now maybe I'll put my nose out there a little bit so I can smell. So it's really hard to tell which one is what, just by feeling it. But I can say that my first instinct is telling me that this is a Fairmont bagel. Just because it's crispier outside. Make it a little dry.
Okay. Mm, it's pretty good. All right. Mm. Bail number two. Oh, oh, it's making me doubt my first, uh, uh, yeah, actually, I think that's a, maybe the same Viatar and Fermont, just, just by touching them. Mm, it's harder than I thought to be, I thought it was gonna be very obvious, but it's not. I think this is Fermont. And this is Saint Viator. Am I right? We'll find out at the end. Which one good. do you prefer? Okay, one more bite. I like this one better. It has a nicer, crispy outside, stuff in the middle. I feel like it's um, not as pulling as much when I bite into it. That would be my number one. Now it's a bagel with butter tasting. So in my right hand, this one, and left hand, the other one. All right, so again. This one feels crispier again. Is it unsalted butter? I think so. I hate unsalted butter. Okay, okay, okay. It's very hard to say. I'm gonna go with this one. Number one. Number one. Number one is better, in my opinion. And which one do you think is which? Mm. I think yeah, it's Fairmont. That's maybe I thought. Okay. The plane test. Yeah, plane test. And like we mentioned earlier, these have been cooling down, so it's pretty much the same. Uh, Temperature wise, or you know, at the same place. So this is giving us a more uh, of an equal um, comparison. Thank you. Okay, let me just. Okay. Crispier. Oh yeah, that's crispy for sure. Not as crispy. The dough. Mm. This one is sweeter, which indicates me that this is probably Saint Viatar because we definitely had the honey notes more present in the Saint Viatar bagel. And uh, obviously, size wise, this feels a bit bigger than this one. So. I feel like when they cool down, it's very, very much harder to figure out which is what. This one's a bit more doughy, I feel like. I would go with <clears throat> I like this one better. And I think this is Fairmont. I think that this is Saint Viator. Am I right? Okay, it's the last one. <clears throat> so you are right. So this is a Fairmont bagel? Yeah, you can unblindfold yourself now. But I will say. Oh, did I know? Did... The first two, you picked Saint Viator as your favorite. Oh, really? That's crazy. So what does that say? The thing is, you know what? We had the two, the first initial tasting was outside the store, fresh out of the oven. So that first one was won by Fermont, you know, no doubt about it. And then on the blind tasting, it seems like we have two votes for Saint-Viatar and one for Fermont. So which brings us to a draw. That's not good. We can't end up this video with a draw. I guess I have to make a decision and uh, you know, I have to make a decision of who's gonna be the 
big old champion. The big old champion. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out who's the big old champion. That sucks. I mean, I like both. Because, uh, you know, we went to Saint-Viatar, we announced ourselves uh, coming for a video, and they gave us some, you know, older bagels, which was a bit disappointing, to be, to be fair. And then we got to Vermont, we did not uh, shoot inside, and then, uh, you know, just as random customers, and we got some out of the oven, super hot bagels, maybe because it was a bit busier, they were having a better, like, um, turnover on bagels, and that's why we always get the, 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 the fresh one, so. I think I'm, yeah, I'm, uh, I was rooting for Saint Viatar, you know, we didn't have the, the shoes to prove it. And uh, I feel like Fairmont Bagel is our winner here. Yeah, I like the crispier uh, outside. You see how it's like uh, it's been, I guess, uh, baking for maybe longer or it's been baking for a higher temperature. This one's very, very light on the, on the outside. The color is very like beige. This one's like nice and brown. And the contrast of texture is definitely more interesting in my opinion on this one but you know the blind tasting got us all confused but uh, if I had to choose one I would go with Fremont Bagel but that being said it's a very very close call um, it breaks my heart for Saint Viatar but uh, this this whole round was won was won by Fremont Bagels so yeah sorry Saint Viatar but uh, the ringing champion of the bagel game is the Fairmont Bagels. It was a very hard decision to make, but uh, you know, I had to go with uh, my feeling, my experience. Not only like the, the tasting, but even just like, you know, the being served the warm bagels out of the oven while we went Fairmont compared to the drier one at Saint Viatar. So yeah, Fairmont's a winner. And uh, it was a fun experience to make. I'm very happy we got to taste those bagels. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, we don't have a name for the show yet, so uh, if you guys have any suggestions for, for a name for our, you know, kind of vlog, tasting, whatever we're doing here, leave it in the comments and uh, we'll pick our favorite one from there. Uh, <clears throat> if not, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to make sure you don't miss the next video, leave a like, leave a comment. And is there anything else? I think that's everything. I think that's everything. So um, yeah, thanks you guys for watching, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next episode of We Don't Have a Name Yet. Not a good slap. Ah, there you go, that was a good slap. And now back to eating bagels. <laughs>